And I also had the ACL tear my junior year. So I was, you know, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't the same as I was before, but it was a great experience. Um, not everyone gets to say that they had an opportunity to really all that. Not everybody gets to say that they play on the team, you know? So yeah. That's what's up, man. So fast forward, fast forward. You, you didn't get selected by everyone in front of the Yeah. Um, you didn't get a follow. So what happened? Um, so, you know, I was back home, you know, I, I kind of still had this idea to play football, but, uh, you know, um, I was kind of bored because, like I said, football was just everything I did, and, you know, I, I realized I was into music as far as, like, you know, downloading mixtapes all the time, that picked up on all the old, you know, mixtape craze, and, and um, I also realized a lot of my friends were going into my roommate was part of uh, O5, which is a group on Boston, uh, their son and everything, my cousins on um, part of their Jungle Club, which is a really nice production, and um, who brought Boston. So I had all these people around with music and stuff, and I just had this idea that you know, Boston doesn't have like, really a strong hip hop scene. Or, like, a lot of it's just like um, cover bands and kind of indie bands. And I wanted to like start this blog to really display like you know, upcoming artists um, out of Boston, but as well as like different areas of the country. So that's, you know, I had this idea in the fall and I finally put it into motion, I believe, April 17th, somewhere around that. So I've been doing it for the last few years and, you know, just, it's taken off a lot. I never did anything like that before, so I was blogging and, you know, I, mean, I just know I love music, but I love to write. Yeah. So you were talking about Boston's project and, um, you know, in a couple of years things changed. So how do you feel about Boston's music project now as opposed to the I think it's um, you know, come a long way. Um, you know, before I didn't really know too much about Boston hip hop, and that's a problem. If you don't really know who the guys that are you know, making noise, and you know, the scene's not really buzzing like that. So, yeah, exactly. We, and the, the thing with Boston is there's not really a lot of things that are friendly about hip hop. Because hip hop's kind of associated with you know, violence and drugs. And, um, you know, I, I can see that, but not all of it's like that. And um, just the last two years, it's just an amazing time. So, reach out to the GOP, Mr. Fritz, who I work with, is a real good one. He's even like the, the best terminology. Yeah, um, Rex. Yeah, Rex, all of you know, LLG. These guys are, you know, they're best. They, they actually, you know, 